Hey guys, Gage and Tyler with Steel here. Today we're going to be going over kind of a hot topic in the industry. IR signature. It's a lot it's a thing a lot of people talk about, but really there's not a lot of good information out there on what different items look like under IR. Mm -hmm. So me and Tyler are out here at the range to go over and test a couple of these things so you guys can see what your everyday items look like. Tyler, if you want to kind of explain what we're going to be doing. Yeah, certainly. So we're going to test, like Gage said, a few common items. So your cell phone, watches and other devices like compasses that have glow in the dark features. Um, even the small amounts of light emitted from your optics, such as an armor on a pistol or a rifle, something like that. Um, and even the IR illuminators on this. What does that look like at distance? with other night vision. Not a lot of people know. So we're gonna test some of these things tonight. I'm gonna to be behind the night vision. Gage is gonna be out with these devices and testing them. Along with light emitting devices, we wanted to show you quickly an example of IR compliant fabrics as well. So over here I have my AOR2 uh, Patagonia field shirt that I've been you know, using for a while. And then we're gonna show a standard shirt and show you what that looks like under night vision, why if you're out doing certain tasks, you might want to have IR compliant fabrics. So let's go back there, Gage, and let's get into it. All right, here we are. So a few of the things we're going to be looking at. A phone, a watch, as you can see, if we hit it with white light to charge it up, some of the face has glow in the dark features on it. Some of those things might show up. All right, and then also Gage has my rifle here. I've got an RMR right up top. That's gonna to emit light. Also with this, this has a kill flash from 100 concepts on it. Gage, your pistol has a red dot. It's a hollow sun. It doesn't have a kill flash. We're gonna see what that looks like if you get hit with white or IR light, what reflection there might be. So Gage, why don't you go out there at about 15 yards or so, and we'll see what these things look like. All right, so Gage is down here. He's at you know roughly 10 yards or so. He's gonna pop us with the light so you can kind of see him really nice. There he is, thank you Gage. So first off, his phone is in his pocket here. Now, a lot of our phones, as we know, they have facial recognition in order to unlock them. Gage, why don't you hit a button on your phone so we can see? So that is in his pocket. He just has normal jeans on, but you can see that is IR light blinking. That's almost like a little strobe light. Now Gage, can you take it out and all right, there we go. That's, you can see that blinking, even reflecting right off his face there. Cool, and then can you show the phone screen to us? And then here is the phone screen so you can see that's pretty, pretty bright. So you're gonna wanna take care of those objects. Next up, uh, let's do the watch. All right, now here is Gage. He just pulled up his sleeve there and this is the glow in the dark watch. So he hit it with, we hit it with some white light just a second ago, so we, it's pretty prominent. Um, it's gonna fade a little bit here, but that is, again, definitely noticeable. If you're looking at a tree line and you see a glowing circle, that's gonna bring up some attention. Nice. All right, and next up, the RMR. All right, and here, we've, here we go. We got Gage with the RMR. You can see there is some light emission coming, depending on how you look at that. You can see light emission, and then you saw a little bit of reflection. We got the moon right behind us here. So that is another thing to consider. Your optics are going to emit some light, especially these open emitter ones like RMRs. Some of the closed emitter ones you're not gonna see, but these you will notice. All right, and then here's Gage with his pistol. It, he's got a Hollow Sun 507, so you see a lot of reflection and a lot of light emission coming from there. So no kill flash. Um, so that's something to consider and we got the moon pretty bright right behind us, but you can see there's a decent amount of reflection and even light emission coming back at him. So something again to consider. All right, next up here, we're just going to get hit gauge with some light and we're going to see what night vision device itself actually reflects. We're going to come up and this is direct. So there we are right on we got some nice reflection. So something again to consider, optics, lenses, they all reflect light. So be cognizant of this and this might dictate some of your operating procedures or 
products that you might get into here. All right, now Gage is at you know roughly 50 yards or so, so more a little bit more distance. We're gonna have him hit his light so you can see exactly where he is. Can you hit us with your white light gauge? There he is. Again, now let's take a look at his at his phone. So if he turns that on now, all right, here's Gage. And there again, there's that IR in his pocket through jeans, even at roughly 50 yards, that was pretty noticeable. So if he goes ahead and takes it out now, so if he takes it out, you're gonna see, there it is, there's that IR light again. So that even with his screen brightness down because it's nighttime, that is overpowering the screen itself. So that is a considerable amount of light that you're putting out. And here we go, and there's his phone screen. So here's a beacon at this point. Now, next up, we are gonna be looking at the watch again. And here it is. Again, it is charged up, and we just saw a pretty nice reflection off that moonlight too. So those reflective surfaces are something to be aware of. All right, here's Gage. He's got the rifle up in kind of a high ready position. And as he brings it down, Let's take a look and see if we have any emission. There it is. There's that emission again from the RMR. So now I didn't see any reflection from the moon on that one. So the kill flash is doing its job. All right, here's Gage with the hollow sun on his pistol again. And look at there's there's some more reflection and possibly even light emission there. All right, so we're gonna hit him with some light and we're gonna see the reflection of those lenses. Ooh, again, that looks really creepy. He is hitting us with some reflection. Be careful of those reflective surfaces. Very cool. All right, Gage, he's gonna go back to about 100 yards now, and we're gonna test everything again. All right, Gage is now back at roughly 100 yards, so he's gonna hit us with his white light here. There he is. Decent distance away now. All right, so let us take a look at that phone now can faintly see it in his pocket. Now, as he takes it out, we're going to, we're going to see how much more of that goes. Okay, there again, it is flashing pretty good. You can see a lot of IR light emission, and when he faces the screen towards us, obviously, we see that very easily. All right, and then there is that watch with the glow-in-the-dark features, you know, as it loses its kind of charge more or less. You're gonna see it less and less. All right, now here's Gage. He's got that rifle up again in that kind of high ready position. As he brings it down, let's see if we get any light emission. You know, I'm not seeing anything. So I think at this distance, it starts to kind of dissipate enough that you're not gonna notice. Very interesting. All right, let's take a look at his pistol though. Pistol us, Gage. All right, here, here we are. He's got that pistol up, looking through those sights. Let's see, as he brings it down, there we, we just got a little reflection from that moonlight there as it, as it was directly there. Oh, you know what? All right, so maybe a little bit of light emission there or reflection, not 100% sure, but that is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with a little bit of light and see if we can get a reflection from this distance. Excuse me. All right, you know what? I'm not seeing too, too much. With a light with a little bit more throw than this, you'd probably get something, but with this exact light, I'm not seeing a ton of reflection. So now the gauge is pretty far. We've got him turning the IR illuminator on. These are some RNVGs. AB night vision products, they seem to have really bright illuminators, at least that's what I've noticed. And you can see at 100 yards, that is crazy bright. It's an, it's an IR flashlight basically, so it's kind of to be expected. So is, if there are other people with night vision that you're trying not to be seen with, IR illuminators, you gotta be careful when you use them. So here we got Gage at roughly 10 yards again. On the left, he's got a Patagonia jacket. And on the right, he's got a, again, Patagonia field shirt, but an AOR too. So if I hit him with some light here, you're gonna see that reflection of the jacket and then of 
with the, and then with the field shirt, you still see that AOR2 pattern. It's a little bit reflecty, but we're pretty close from hitting them with bright light. So let's go back to about 50 or so now and see what they look like. All right, there's Gage at about 50 yards now. And even in the moonlight, we're seeing a little bit of reflection from that Patagonia jacket. It's kind of dispersed at this distance, but with the white light, you're even still seeing that jacket light up and the field shirt over there that's starting to really blend in, doing its job of being camouflage. So at 100 yards, we're not even going to take a look because you're not going to see that Patagonia field shirt. This is a great example of why IR compliant fabrics are a important factor if you're out doing this in any meaningful capacity. So that was pretty interesting, actually. What always gets me is the phone. I mean, that is insane. Yeah. Wasn't that crazy? It's a pretty bright light. Yeah, I remember when we were doing a little airsoft thing with the company, I saw someone's phone light going off yeah. and it was just like a beacon of where they are. So phones are always crazy. And even the reflection when it's hitting with that white light, some coming off the optics, mm -hmm. until we got to like 100 yards with this specific light that I have that doesn't have a ton of throw, and you you saw that you saw those two eyes it was pretty cool so be cognizant of your reflective surfaces and your light emission um, but just a little interesting demonstration on what these things look like if you guys would like to see any other objects tested like this under ir let us know we'd be happy to go out and test some more things we can throw it up on instagram um, and if but if you also have questions on any of the products that we use today or anything that we offer Feel free to shoot us an email, reach out to us via our live chat on our website, or give us a call. We'd be happy to answer any questions for you. As always, stay nocturnal.